What's up, Homestead, Homestead Homies? You're, You're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. We're the Keys family from Warsaw, Missouri. Welcome to our channel. I'm Stacy with Off Grid with Doug and Stacy, and today we are going to be making ghee, which is a clarified butter, but I'm going to cook it a little bit longer to give it a more of a nutty flavor. This is really what we could call the original health food. It's a wonderful fat because it has a very high smoke point, which is a 450 degrees, and unlike butter, it, it, it won't burn. And butter is probably my favorite fat to use when I'm cooking um, or just using it. I love the taste of butter. So ghee is a great alternative. And for you people who are lactose intolerant or have milk sensitivities, this is a great alternative. I know a lot of people are on the paleo diet and all that. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna cook this at a lower heat for some time. And today I'm gonna utilize our All-American Sun Oven to do it with. If you don't have an all-american sun oven you can utilize your oven and just do it in the oven but what's so cool about it is it's when i'm cooking it and then i'm going to strain it i'm going to take all of the lactose and the casein out of it which causes the milk sensitivities and lactose intolerant so it's a great substitute and it's something i mean it's been around for thousands of years they've used it they even use this if you have skin problems um you know different health ailments you can use it for so this is something that will store a very long time. If you just keep it out on the counter, six months. Or if you wanna maybe cool it down and put it in a refrigerator or in a root cellar, I mean, it'll last a year, no problem at all. So this is a great alternative for you guys that are prepping, if you're homesteaders, or you just want good overall health and a great tasting, kind of nutty, kind of tasting butter to add to your arsenal. Okay, so you're looking at this thinking, well, this is butter. How could this be lactose-free or casein-free? So this is grass-fed butter. Um, if you don't have access to um, a cow, uh, this is raw milk that has been made from the cream into butter. But two good brands are like Organic Valley and um, Kerrygold. Those are two good brands that you can use. You need some good grass-fed butter. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna heat up my oven, and I'm gonna use the All-American Sun Oven, to 250 degrees. And I'm gonna just, with an open pan, I'm gonna put this in my Sun Oven, and I'm just gonna let it kind of simmer out there for about an hour and a half. An hour and 15 minutes, hour and a half. I'm gonna kind of check on it. And then what's gonna happen is your milk solids are gonna separate. And from that point, we will be back, and I will show you what I do. All right, the one totally awesome thing about this All American Sun Oven is I can cook something on a very high heat where it could go 350, 400 degrees if I'm gonna bake something quick or if I want something to cook just like a regular oven or if I kind of move it away from the sun, I can cook it at lower heat, maybe something like a crock pot or if I'm gonna dehydrate something or dry my herbs or make sun-dried tomatoes, I can do it that way. So what I'm gonna do here is I moved it, the direct sun is right here. I just moved it over a little bit and I have an exact temperature of 250 degrees so this is going to be perfect and I'm just going to set it out here for the hour and a half. So I'm going to open up the sun oven and set my butter in the pan and then I'm just going to watch it and then I'll be back probably in about 45 minutes or an hour to check on it. I'm doing laundry right now. It's been about an hour or so and I'm going to go check my ghee in the All-American Sun Oven. Okay, so now I'm gonna check the, the ghee. And what's happening now, it's been cooking about a little over an hour. We kinda had some clouds come in here and there, so I'm just kinda letting it go probably a little bit longer. Um, so it's been a little over an hour, and what's happening is the water from the milk is starting to evaporate too. So let's check it out real quick, and then I'm gonna shut it up so it can cook a little longer. And as you can notice that it is separating. Your, um, the casein and lactose, the milk solids are separating from the um, how, how the butter is uh, composed. And we're gonna go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna let it cook here at about 250 degrees for probably another half hour or so. Come on over here, I wanna show you something. So I want you to notice how the milk solids have dropped to the bottom and it's become kind of clear. That's gonna make something called clarified butter, but I wanna give it that little nutty kind of taste. So I'm gonna brown the milk solids to kind of give it that taste. So I think I'm gonna let it cook just a little bit more because I do have a little cloud cover today. Sorry, this is the last time I'm coming to Sun Oven because it's done. 
Oh, look at it. Okay, so it's kind of brown. So now I got my brown coloring that I wanted. It's perfect. And right, and you can notice too that the water, because you have a lot of water in your butter, it's all dissolved too, or it has evaporated basically. So now I'm going to go inside and show you how I strain this. I brought it in. I'm going to let it cool for just a few minutes. All right. And in the meantime, you're going to get ready and you need a strainer, you need your bowl, and then you're going to need something to strain your ghee that you made through. So I like to use old t-shirts. So I have a double layer. So it's two of the layers of the cotton undershirt t-shirt material, or you can use cheesecloth. With a cheesecloth, it's a little thinner. I might go three layers because you want to make sure you're getting all of that, um, the milk solids separated. And then one thing when, when you're doing this, a lot of people that do have milk sensitivities, just be safe, you know, consult your health practitioner just to make sure. Um, but like I say, if you strain it through and make sure you get all the milk solids out, it should be pretty good if you have any sensitivities. But always check, you know, just be aware. But generally, people who do have problems can tolerate, you know, this ghee because it is so good and has such a wonderful flavor. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain this through. And what I'm going to have is 100% pure butter fat. So there's no more moisture in here. There's no more sugars in here. And there are no proteins left. It's just pure butter fat. Like I said earlier, it's liquid gold. And this is a, has just a great nutty flavor. And then the one thing about this is ghee is very expensive at the store. Um, and it's so easy to make. I just used a pound of unsalted butter. Make sure you use unsalted butter. And the two kinds that are really good that I recommend are generally Kerrygold, you can find a lot of places, and then Organic Valley. Um, I tend to find around here, you can find Kerrygold a little bit more than Organic Valley, but it depends where you live. Either one, try to get an unsalted butter, and then you can make your ghee. It's very, very high in vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and K2. We talk about, I'll link a video above <laughs> this way, um, about uh, K2. K2 is, is something that you need to help take your calcium um, to where it needs to go. You don't want it into your joints, you don't want it in your arteries, so it kind of helps with vitamin D3. They all kind of work together to take things where they need to go. So this is loaded in vitamin K2, and you're hearing a lot about K2 and your vitamin A's, and if you're having digestive problems, um, maybe Crohn's disease or irritable bowel syndrome, and it's hard for you to digest things, this might be a, a little easier way to get some good vitamins in you and um, being able to tolerate having butter again. So um, I'm going to wait a little longer. It's, it looks like it's straining pretty good, and you can see how it's straining through here, and I'll show you the finished product. I needed to strain this a second time, so I used two new clean um, of my towels here, and then I strained it twice because there was some milk solids that had kind of went through there a little bit. So I'm just going to pour it in here. And then the wonderful thing about this is, you know, I can keep it on my counter and use it when I need it. It will solidify if it gets cooler. I mean, we don't have air conditioning here because we are off grid and um, it may stay in this liquid form, but in the winter months, definitely will. If you're going to put it in the refrigerator, I'll probably put this in the refrigerator so that it, it'll last a little bit longer, but um, I will use this up very quickly because this is uh, just a great alternative to butter. Like I say, if you have any dairy sensitivities, you may be able to tolerate this when you couldn't before with butter. Um, or if you're on a paleo diet, this is great for that. And then um, I want to show you, this is what I skimmed off the top, which are the milk solids. Um, what I'm going to do, my grandmother actually, this is very old. My grandmother used to make this all the time when I was growing up. And then she would use this sometimes and just spread it on toast. But I think I'm going to give this to the cats, a little some to the cats and some to the dogs for a treat for them. So I'm not going to waste anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my liquid gold and I'm going to put it into the refrigerator and then we'll use it. Um, it will last, like I say, six months, you know, up to even a year. I know people have kept it, but I definitely use it way, way, way quicker than um, its shelf life. So go ahead and try this.
and I did this, like I said, you saw on the sun oven. I want you guys to stay tuned because we have some cool things coming up. In July, we have some fancy, fancy things going on. We may be giving away a sun oven again this year, but you gotta stay tuned. So if you don't like Doug building our garden or you don't like me making ghee, stay tuned because you may find out you can maybe win an All-American Sun Oven. So check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. This is Off Group with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Stacy, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.